of Philadelphia University, Martin Sakori. Jeff Chase, over 16-6 in his second try. The fair start, Mel Pender out the lead. Mel Pender really out there, Jim Ryan moving up. Mel Pender, Jimmy Hines. Mel Pender, Jimmy Hines, Kurt Clayton and Larry Westad moving up fast. Well, I, I feel that a lot have to do with my start. Uh, I've been coming out the blocks better this year. Uh, always has been a strong finisher. And uh, coming out the blocks better has helped me out quite a bit. And I feel that this tour will be good for me because uh, getting this good international competition. And I feel that it will be good experience and it will be good. probably will not go to uh, uh, any altitude training until sometime in August. And uh, I think they're more concerned with the distance runners than anyone else and anyone else who would like to take part in the training. In other words, as far as you're concerned, the altitude will not hurt in the shot put. Well, I think as far as the one single performance, I don't really think it would make that much difference. Now, when you start talking about trials and uh, semifinals and finals and, and so on, then uh, there may perhaps be some problems, but as I see it right now, I don't think there will be any problems with the field of it, uh, It's not an endurance type thing, but uh, nonetheless, I think it would be good psychologically if, if all the members uh, who wanted to be on the team would take part in at least some of the two training.
I was surprised that I won my heat yesterday. I, I, I was content. I was, Were you I was pushing that much yesterday? No, I wasn't. I was running relaxed, and uh, I was able to get by the uh, the runners on the front stretch. You had a terrific surge yesterday, and uh, something you aren't normally uh, renowned for is the surge you're normally out in front most of the way. Yeah, this is true, and but today I was I was happy with the way I went today. Also, uh, Taylor from uh, Ohio, he really surprised me the way he pulled out in front of it, you know, on the on the back stretch over here, but. I was able to uh, catch him in about five hours from the tape. Mm -hmm. I think we're we'll delivered. In third place. In third way. For what reason? I ate Carlos one. Why don't you let the athletes pull their own lanes, just like they put their own blocks in? Sean Sullivan, Pennsylvania, all our tricks are five minutes and five seconds. Do you think that he's all our tricks are in lane one and the other one in the lane eight? You and Carlos in one and eight? Sure, wasn't sure of luck. I tell you that. We were making a cup of first up together. Well, I mean, anti-protest again? Right, you're wanting to get that still. We're making a cup of first up together. Right, you're wanting to get that still. We're making a cup of first up together. Right, you're wanting to get that still. We're making a cup of first up together. We'll see the thing in a minute. Okay. You're going to take 10 deep so that in case our black boys don't want to go, they've got somebody there to represent them. And let me tell you, they won't hold up against the rest of this world. And that's all I have to say. And I'm just tired of all this. Tired. And right where went out, that's all. Come on, baby, don't cry. 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 Come on, baby, I'll follow the walk. I'll follow the walk. I know what we got to do. Yeah, that's it. Tommy, unless, unless they rectify some of these things, would this mean a, a continued boycott or something of that line? They don't have to rectify it. The boycott is still on. They don't have to rectify anything. But are you saying you won't go up to town to compete? I'm saying the boycott is still on. What you're saying is that you're not, we're not what going to Mexico. Need to do? I'm saying the boycott is still on. What do you? Uh, what would they have to do for you to go to Mexico? Tom? The boycott is still on. At this point, you. At this point, the boycott is still on. No other point. No other comment. Because they just allowed in a few children. Lee, in the uh, light of the the lane scheduling that has happened in some other races, uh, has it changed your mind any, or are you ready to comment on that? Not really, but uh, Tom and Carlos are very upset with the lanes they put. They mm -hmm. got in the 220, but I was happy with the with my lanes, with my lane selections at this meet. So you don't feel that, in your case at least, there were any politics involved? Not this meeting, anyway. Maybe because I screamed last week. Uh, I really don't know uh, what's going to happen. Uh, if uh, all the black athletes do boycott, then uh, I probably will be affiliated with it. So in other words, uh, would it take all of them, or say over three quarters, for you to go along with it? Uh, I couldn't really say with that. Uh, maybe half, maybe one third, maybe all. It would depend uh, an awful lot as to whom those are that boycott? Well, that and uh, different little other things. Uh, what, in your opinion, uh, you are in uh, uh, sympathy then uh, with the 
leaders of the boycott movement? Well, yes, I know uh, the leaders real well, and I know everything they're saying is very true, and I face this as a black person, and uh, I know it's true. So, uh, in going and boycotting it, it would be a just thing. Do you feel that since there has been this talk, uh, Ronnie, that there have been improvements in the, the treatments of uh, uh, athletes, black athletes? Well, uh, I guess there would be some uh, improvement. I'm not really up to date on it, so I couldn't really answer that uh, factually. Personally, have you been treated uh, better in the, the past couple of years than you were as a youth? Personally? Well, I haven't seen any real big change as if uh, all of a sudden, since they're going to boycott, then I've been treated different now. So in other words, you feel that, that uh, there is still too much of a, a color line debarkation for, for your uh, satisfaction? Yes. Well, uh, I don't know uh, how I could comment on that as far as fair is concerned. Uh, uh, just my own personal feeling, uh, I uh, sort of lean toward the one meet, but I think uh, what they're trying to do is trying to get the best team together. And uh, uh, I think for those who placed probably in the first three today, would probably like to see it remain this way. And for those who placed down the line a little bit, I think that uh, they would like to see as many meets as possible and have the Olympic trials as it's set up now. I think this is a beautiful system, really. I, I don't think it's a good system to have just one meet where you must lay everything on the line that day because you can have a bad day, and if you don't make it on that day, then, my golly, that's just a pretty sad thing. Uh, say four years of training, you put it all on one meet, lay it all on the line. They changed the system in 1964 at the recommendation of athletes. It was formally prior to that, a one meet thing, and if you didn't make the team and you were in the top three on that day, and you didn't make the team, and uh, really that's not the best selection system available. It's just very, maybe, uh, full of glamour and color and, and a moment of truth, so to speak, but uh, not really the best way to select a team on past performance because you can have an athlete who might be injured that day or who might have a, the historical bad day. It happens in anything. So we have a little better system now where we spread it out over the summer and watch the performances, have a final trial in September, and there, select the team. It is not necessarily the first three in September will go. Uh, could be extenuating circumstances, but generally it will be just the first three there. Has there been some parts of politics involved in the uh, uh, proceedings and such? Do you feel that there has been some politics? Well, I think uh, it's extremely difficult to avoid that. Uh, I'm sure there have been, yes. What is the basic opinion, Jay, of the, the athletes who are not involved in the boycott? What is the, the fear? Well, I'll tell you, I would just hate to be some of these colored fellows who are having all this pressure on to boycott the games because they've given up quite a few years of their life in preparation for this event. They've worked very hard for it. And for them to not go is a very paradoxical thing. They've worked hard. They deserve the opportunity to go. And I think they'd be listened to a whole lot more if they happen to go to Mexico and uh, perform one and win on the Olympic event and Olympic event and then come back. And if they had something to say, I think they'd have a lot more listeners than they would if they stayed at home, did not represent their country, and uh, do all that they can to help us win the Olympic Games. Lee, have you ever run at uh, altitudes before? No, only 5,200 feet puts up at Brigham Young. Uh, does, uh, does that affect you? I ran four races a day, and uh, the only thing I know is I couldn't recover as fast between races as I, as I wanted to. Uh, like at sea level, I can, I can recover, you know, mm -hmm. uh, much quicker than I can up at... Uh, well, there's a sorry everyone pulling up on me, and uh, there wasn't much I could do about it. I went out a little bit too fast, faster than I had expected. Well, if you go out too fast in the 100, it's not normally that disastrous, is it, as it at a longer well, distance? Uh, it depends. Uh, not usually, uh -huh. but uh, I, you know, I was I was pretty dead the second lap. Is that the fastest you've uh, swum that event? No, uh, at the end of practice, after a workout once, I went a 9.5, but this morning I went 9.6, uh, which was new meet record. But, uh, no. I was hoping to go better than that. How do you feel you'll do in the Nationals and Olympic uh, trials? Well, if I start working really hard, I, I hope to do, uh, get down at least in seven or so, or better, enough to make the Olympics. Uh, now, Brian, how many people from the Santa Clara Swim Club do you figure have a chance to go to the Olympics, yourself and Oh, you? wow. There's, uh, I w can't quote a figure, but there uh, should be quite a few. You really figure that it will be sort of Santa Claus Swim Club year? Yes, it will. It will 
really all be there. Uh, too many fantastic swimmers on Santa Clara. They're all. And Does it help you in working out? Uh, do you think more so than other people who don't have as many fantastic swimmers? What, you mean having, uh, having many? this kind of competition oh, yes, even it does. with? Yes, it does help. It, uh, just the atmosphere of knowing, you know, all these uh, fantastic swimmers helps helps uh, when it comes to meet time and while you're working. You know, you see everyone else working hard and you want to work hard too. You know, it, it's, it really does help, I think. Ryan Job, the winner in the 100 meter breaststroke, and congratulations. Thank you. Uh, you went out so fast that your chief competitor, uh, Karen Muir, didn't have an opportunity to catch up with you on that last. Were you fading on the last hundred? Oh, I sure was. Well, I, I wanted to go out fast, you know. I wanted to be the first on the hundred. And then on that last one, I said, gee, I shouldn't have gone out so fast. I'm never going to finish. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, how do you feel about uh, this is the only time you'll meet uh, Miss Muir this year. And I'm sure that you're a little sorry that it's the only time. Well, yeah, she's a really good sport and she always makes me go fast. So I like feeling good for her. But most of the time she always beats me. <laughs> But this time you came up and really did real well. Thank you. And now what do you expect for uh, the Olympics? Do you, uh, you are a member of the uh, Canadian Olympic team? Well, it hasn't been picked yet, but I hope so. Do you have to compete as we do here in the United States? Yeah, we have a trials in August. And then are you going to train at altitude in Canada someplace? Yeah, I'm going to train up in the Rockies at Banff. And uh, are you afraid of altitude at all? Um, no, I'm going to go down and thinking, gee, you know, it's not going to affect me at all. And, and I think mentally it will help a lot. And, of course, you're not swimming any long, long races, are you? No, 200 meters my farthest. And uh, so you expect it not to affect you too much at all? No, I hope not. I don't believe that it will make any difference uh, <laughs> up to 200 meters. I think there is... Uh, somewhat of an advantage uh, from there on in. Are you trying to take advantage of that by really working on your distance swimmers more so than your sprinters? Well, I must say that uh, the heavy emphasis of our program is on distance swimming. Almost all of our swimmers are on a uh, distance training program, and uh, our best hopes come in the 400 meters, 800 meters for women, the 400 meter individual medley for men and women, and the uh, 400 and 1500 meters for men. Of course, this international meet here has certainly helped them get ready to peak for it. Well, more than that, it's, uh, it's caused our spirit to go sky high, and I think that Mexicans realize that they can. Is this why you're taking more than uh, just three or five up to the towel? Well, we're having problems because of high altitude, as you know, and it's uh, necessary for us to have extra people because we're not certain how many of them would be able to uh, compete well at altitude. Uh, some always uh, have problems and others can go through it and do a real good job, but this is one of the reasons for the extra athletes in this competition. What do you think is going to be the strongest uh, area for the U.S. this year? Well, it looks like we have a number of areas where strength is uh, predominant. Our uh, sprints, our quarter mile, our hurdles, uh, the pole vault, the discus, certainly, uh, with those powerful weight men. Uh, uh, the high jumpers are surprising us today with some very, very outstanding marks. So the balance looks good, and we're very pleased. Of course, in sprints, you're almost always uh, strong. The U.S. seems to be the strongest in the world. You know. Well, it looks to me like it's a strong uh, area, and I hope that it will be strong. I don't know how strong it'll be uh, until we get there and the chips are down. But at the moment, it looks exceptionally strong. It would seem that you could take any of six or seven or even eight people and still come up with near world record, or world record time. I would think this is a true assumption, and certainly in the... Uh, the way the races went today, uh, any one of five or six in each event could come up with a world record. Now, Peyton, does it distress you any that you have uh, the, the other human relations problem? Well, I'm always disappointed that people forget that uh, we are an American team, and uh, I hope that this will not be an issue, and I think that it should not be. I think it should be the merit of the athlete, and certainly what he does as an individual is important, not what someone tells him he should do. The 200 in the first medley. Fortunately for uh, the Santa Clara Valley fans, at least the record stayed in the Santa Clara Valley. Right. Uh, it was a great race. Uh, the only objection of the race that I have, uh, I was in lane one. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to be having troubles with lane one or lane nine. Right. Uh, both extremes I have trouble, especially in lane one, my my body bill and the, the uh, degree of lean, I have a, quite a bit of trouble with it. How do you feel the uh, 
uh, U.S. can come out in the uh, 200 meters in Mexico City? Well, this I think uh, the field we had uh, two days ago is one of the greatest fields that uh, the world has ever known. And uh, if uh, I think we can duplicate it in Mexico City. In the one, two, three finish. I hope so. Well, Tommy, people have said that this is the greatest race that they've ever seen. Was the greatest that you ever run? No, it wasn't. Uh, uh, my lean wasn't perfect at all. I had no, uh, really no lean. I was running uh, on the ball of my feet in, instead of on my toes. Uh, my arm was down, my head was up, and everything was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> has the altitude affected you? Well, it has had some effect on me. As far as uh, running a quarter, I can feel it. And running a 220 is just a period of recovery. Now, do you feel glad then that you aren't trying both the 400 and the 200? I am, especially the open, the open quarter. Maybe uh, a leg on the mile relay wouldn't be so bad, but two quarters in a day or three quarters in a day is, is, is quite bad on the, on the lungs right now. You were in Los Angeles, uh, qualified for the 200 meters as well. Uh, what led to your decision not to run in that up here? Well, I did have leg trouble uh, about two weeks. And uh, going into the finals in the 100 meters, my leg was a little sore. Uh, I still had my speed, and I ran well, and uh, all the other sprinters ran well. But uh, it was sore, so I didn't want to chances in the 200 meters. I was on the relay team, and we are going to shoot for a gold medal in that. Now, is this uh, your greatest thrill in, in the track, uh, then, Ronnie? Greatest thrill? Let's see. You get so many of them that one year is kind of hard to say. I would <laughs> say this, this year would be a great thrill to me because I... I really came on strong this year, and uh, I'm still surprised. And how do you anticipate doing it then? You're going to come back to San Jose State uh, once you get done with the Olympic effort? Yes, I am. Right. Now, what has the uh, high altitude done for the in the 100 meters? I know earlier you said you didn't expect it to do too much of anything except maybe recovery time. Has that been borne out? Yes, it has. Uh, um, after all the sprinters got used to it, first when you get here, you run a couple of miles and you're a little winded but you get used to it and uh well i think we all ran great everybody ran all four races strong and uh we finished good do you see the possibility of another world record in mexico city it's possible uh yes it can be done but i think if anything would be done they'll probably tie it you, you think then that the the record is about as far down as it's going to go for a long time i can't answer that really because it's so hard to say. So many records got broken already just, just right here at Tahoe. So uh, you can't really say. Anytime a crowd roars on a, on a good throw, and you can see the line.